morning, y'all. We are starting our day off with some coffee. I'm using my Dollar Tree coffee mug. <laughs> Back when Dollar Tree was only a dollar and I had gotten this coffee mug. I got my zero sugar peppermint mocha. I'm loving this. And I've also been using Skinny Jordan's uh, white chocolate pumpkin flavor. This one is really good, by the way. Mm. All right, y'all, so I am fixing to make up some pancakes. Um, we're actually doing some protein pancakes, actually. Um, I have got some H-E-B pancake and waffle mix, just the buttermilk. Normally, I have the Kodiak brand because that's just the brand we like, but this was part of like H-E-B's, like one of their deals or something. I think I got this for free, so we're gonna use that. I'm gonna use a little bit of this chocolate protein powder. This is by the Alpha Lion. It's super human, and the Cocoa Puffs, it's just chocolate. I'm gonna add an egg, some mashed up banana, and I'm gonna use some almond milk because we are <laughs> running low on some regular milk, so I'm gonna use up the almond milk here. So I got Charlotte's pancakes already now. Now I'm just working on mine and these look so good, y'all. Charlotte has decided that she wants to put chocolate chips on top of her pancakes. They're the Lily's sugar-free chocolate chips, so it's totally fine. She wanted to add more banana to hers. And I did put a little bit of peanut butter on mine. I'm out of spreadable butter. All I have is the stick. So I don't know, for some reason, I just put a tiny bit of peanut butter and then I've got the uh, sugar-free pancake syrup, so. That is breakfast, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm over here trying to put dishes away and Charlotte has made little smiley faces with her pancakes. So those are the eyes, that's the nose, and then um, that's a smile. That is adorable. I love it. <laughs> I had um, already taken the trash to the dump. This is terrible lighting again. Okay, I've already taken the trash to the dump and I ran over to Walmart specifically just to get milk and True Walmart fashion, I came home with a bunch of other stuff. So let me show you what I got. We're still trying to finish up the cinnamon roll monkey bread. And I keep getting into it. Oh, oh, I think I just bit into just a huge chunk of sugar. I'm not mad about it, but I was expecting dough. Mm. I'm gonna start over on this side. I did get three things of milk. I got our Texas bread, because we needed at least one loaf. I got some roasted red pepper slices. Now the reason why I picked up that is because I make a cheese ball. I'll have to make for you on my channel here. It's just a, um, it's just a cheese ball and then I just chop the roasted red peppers up with some cayenne pepper and some cheese and some other stuff and then I roll it up into the ball and uh, roll it into some chopped pecans and stuff. So I had to get some of that and I actually had to get the, um, the rich rich the Ritz fresh stack crackers to go with that cheese ball um, I had to get some cool whip uh, some sweet potato pie to go with the cool whip y'all I finally found the gingerbread CT crunch I was so excited we didn't actually need cereal right now but if I passed it up I was never gonna find it ever again so I had to get that had to get some stove top I got the savory herbs I really like this flavor I picked up the stranger things pepperoni pizza for the kids I think we're gonna do that for lunch we had just gotten yesterday the stranger things what's it called ahoy scoops ahoy yeah. scoops ahoy ice cream and you liked yours too right Megan mm -hmm. okay the girls really liked theirs so I figured we'll try out the pizza. They had other flavors too, but they like the pepperoni. I picked up the limited edition goldfish. This is the maple syrup grams. You see they got, you still got like the fish and the elf hat. And then this is like a jar of maple syrup. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Yes, I had to get the gingerbread teaspoon set because you know, my kitchen would not be complete for Christmas if I didn't have the teaspoon set. <laughs> I uh, got some mini marshmallows because I'm going to be making some sweet potato casserole at some point. Some uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. Some rolls. King's Hawaiian. That's our favorite. Some light corn syrup. I'm going to be making a homemade pecan pie. One for us and one to take to the church. So that's why I got two. 
uh, some Martinelli's apple juice and some Martinelli's sparkling cider. So that is today's haul. Now I gotta go ahead and get all this stuff put away and get that pizza in the oven. So while I was over at Walmart, I actually had to pick up a gift bag for Charlotte's birthday present. So I picked this up and it's got like cupcakes, colorful cupcakes all over it. It is so cute. It's just plain blue on the sides there, but I figure she is going to love this bag and I had to get some tissue paper. I had to come in my room so I could show you this really quick. I got some purple and I got some white. I got a big pack of white because I figure with Christmas coming up and Megan's birthday, I'll definitely go through all of that. So I can do like maybe a mix of purple and white with that. I did happen to get this. This is a season of heroes. Oh my gosh. I saw this years ago, like, oh my gosh, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago. And I just loved this series. I don't know how many seasons are in here. It just says complete series, but I wish they came out with more. Maybe they did. I don't even remember. Anyway, I just really loved this and it was like $40 over at Walmart and I thought, okay, I'm gonna wrap this up and it's gonna go under the tree for me. <laughs> well, th okay, so this gift bag here is gonna be for Charlotte's birthday present and I'm gonna try and talk not too loud so that you can um, see. But anyway, I got her this tie-dye kit and this is the glow in the dark one. I don't even know if she knows that this is even a thing, but it's glow in the dark colors and I thought that would be really fun for her. And then I got her this one. This is the celestial tie-dye kit. And then I got her, what is this one? Oh, this is the ice dye kit, which is, she has tried doing the ice dye before, but this one actually comes with like a little tray that you put the shirt on or your project on and I don't know but I just thought that she would really enjoy that so I figured with all three I gotta take these stickers off but all three hopefully will fit into this bag here this is something I actually picked up for Megan because she likes Hello Kitty so this is just like a pack of Hello Kitty socks I thought she would probably think is cute this is just a tie-dye guide that um, Hobby Lobby had inside their store so I figured I would just like kind of stick that in there because there was like um, some like designs like this one with the heart now she's done the heart one um, when she went to Girl Scout camp and so she probably already knows how to do that one but there might be other ones in here that I don't know maybe she already knows how to do all these I don't know I mean it's not a big deal whatever I mean like this was free this is just you know, when you grab these, you can just like take this off the little, the thing. I had gotten her an outfit over at Walmart. So this was a long sleeve. This is really pretty too. It was just like a long sleeve shirt. And it's got a unicorn on it because yeah, she loves unicorns. And then on the sleeve, it's long sleeve. And on the sleeve, it's, what does it say? Oh, magic and love. Oh, and then there's like a little a little rose on here. So I got her that. And then these jeans I had gotten for her over um, at Children's Place. Our Children's Place is like kind of going away. And I think I got these for like, oh, the price tag's not even on here. But um, anyway, they were super cheap. I think they might've been like $5 or something because they were like having a going out of business sale. But anyway, so I got her the outfit, the tie-dye kit and i got her i got her a pair of shoes i got her these because she really loves purple so i got her these under armor shoes so i thought she might like those and there's like a little pop of green on them but you know kids and shoes they always need they always need new shoes and then um to go with the shoes i also got her some tie-dye socks Anyway, so I just got her a pack of socks. They're like in this tie-dye print. They had all these different colors. She loves color, so I figured she'd probably like those. Those can go together. That'll be a thing. And then um, I had gotten her off of Amazon this RC car that she had picked out. She's like a little pink car. Megan has a Spider-Man RC car, and I thought, well, that'd be fun for them to just, you know, kind of play with that outside together. Um, and then these were just some paint markers that she really wanted. So I guess those are going into, um, you know, her birthday pile. And this is just some hair chalk. She's just like obsessed with hair chalk and just, you know, doing all that stuff. So yeah, that is what she is getting for her birthday. Hopefully I have some 
uh, wrapping paper out in the shed. I need to go check on that. Uh, and then I won't have to actually buy any, but I wanted to get this big bag for all the tie-dye stuff. Hopefully it fits. And, um, and yeah, we'll be all set for that. So yeah, we're just gonna do her birthday party over at the skating rink. So birthday invitations have already been set out. So I did get confirmation from a few friends that are able to make it, so that's really good. Oh my gosh, y'all, she wants to make a Kit Kat cake. And I don't mean, this is what I thought she meant. I thought she meant she wanted like a, a round cake that was like lined with Kit Kats. Like I've seen, we're at like the grocery store and they like top it with like candy and it looks all fun and colorful. No, 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 because that would be simple. No, she wants a cake that looks like a Kit Kat bar in the wrapper. So I bought her and she wants to make it herself. I was like, oh my gosh, girl, why, why are you trying to put this stress on me right now? And she's like, no, 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 it's okay. So she wants to like, cause she wants to bake it. She wants to do all the decorating. She wants to do everything. And I'm like, okay, well, you're gonna do it like a couple of days before your birthday, because if this doesn't turn out right, then I need to order you a cake and I need to be able to get it done in time. So, oh my gosh. So I got her like three containers of red icing. I got her the chocolate cake and the writing, is there like edible, edible ink markers that I picked up over at Hobby Lobby. So I got all of that so she can do it. But now she's decided, oh, I wanna use red fondant, which actually would work better, but now I have to go up to Hobby Lobby. And that's not just, oh, hop in my truck and drive down the road. No, we live out in the middle of nowhere. So it's not just right down the road. It's, it's a trip. <laughs> so I'm um, like, okay, well, the next time I go to the big city, I will go and get you, I will look for the red fondant and we'll just do some Christmas baking with red icing if it comes down to that. But, oh my gosh, y'all, she is just, <laughs> hmm. I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, River is behind me um, getting into the bag, so I need to take care of all of that. And I need to go check on that pizza because I got that Stranger Things pizza in the oven. I think it's got about six minutes left. Um, so I'm gonna, wrap, I'm gonna go take care of that real quick. All right, y'all, I am really irritated about this pizza because I followed the directions. It said 425 for 20 to 22 minutes. I did 21 minutes and this is how it turned out. And I'm not really happy about this. Let's see how it tastes. So Abby just had to get another bath because she was outside running around playing in the mud and she was just covered in dirt. This beautiful white muzzle was all brown. What are you doing? Yes, I gave you treats. You're a silly girl. You're just gonna follow me. And I got a bathroom to clean here. Yes, no, you're already dry, you're done. Ow. <laughs> you're done. I need to clean up the bathroom. Could you please excuse me? Abigail. Charlotte, call Abby. Abby! Go, go get Charlotte. Abby! Go get her. Abby! Go get her. Oh, and then she just hit. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm in the shower here with her and I'm talking to Tita on the phone and I'd already rinsed her off, it was fine. But instead of shaking off in the shower, like I was hoping she would do, she came out dripping wet and now there's like water all over my floor. Now I gotta clean in here, crazy dog. Charlotte is over here trying to get Abby to help her choose which bag of chips she should have. Which one should she get? Perfect. She does, probably doesn't want a treat right now. Oh, look, see, she's choosing the green bag too. Good girl. <laughs> it is like four o'clock. I have spent the past, I don't know, maybe two hours watching YouTube videos. Um, it was part of the grocery haul collaboration that I was in. And uh, so I just got done watching the entire playlist plus my own. And um, also wanted to mention on there those Quest chips that I had bought in that grocery haul. They were disgusting. I couldn't even finish the whole bag. I took a couple of bites and I was like, nope, I'm done. But those sweet potato fries were so good. I'm definitely buying those again. It is cold. It is just miserable looking outside, but it's not raining. So we are gonna have to go outside to feed animals here pretty soon. So stay tuned. Charlotte wants to try out the new elf 
goldfish. So I want to get her instant reaction. You want some help with that? Yes. Can you smell them? They smell good. What do you think? They taste small plant, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, I see that. Well? It tastes good, but it also kind of tastes like a cracker or something. Well, they're... Let me see. Oh, and I choose three fish. There's hats and the little maple thingies in there. And I got three fish. Kind of tastes like a maple graham cracker. I do taste like a hint of syrup, especially as soon as like it hits your tongue. But they taste really good though. They do taste good. Yeah, I like them. Hey Randy, y'all ready for some dinner? I know these babies are ready for some dinner. And look who still has not had her baby yet. Now granted y'all are going to see this December 2nd, but as of right now, what is it? November, say the 20th or 21st? She still has not had her babies. I don't expect Bella to have her babies anytime yet. I don't think she's gonna pop yet, but. Hi, Daisy. Hello, my loves. Okay, so I'm gonna go get waters for the piggies. So I don't know if you could see, all right. So that bird that just flew off the gate was Maple, now it's Michael. <laughs> Today, I don't know if I had already mentioned that before, but once we realized that Maple was actually not a girl at all, <laughs> that it was actually a rooster, we thought Maple is just not a fitting name for a rooster, so TJ renamed him Michael. Look at my little Dixie, she's so cute. She's still tiny. She's not gonna get any bigger than that, I don't think. My little Dixie girl. Okay, so Charlotte's been over here by the pigs. She's already fed them. Megan already fed the goats. So now I gotta go bring them some water. Oh, my chickens, I think I have treats for them. I just had to shut their windows because it's gonna get down to like 39 degrees tonight. And I wanted to make sure that they were gonna be warm. Oh my goodness, there's only one in here, that's it? Nope, oh, there's another one right over there. Oh, okay, we're changing it up. Usually everybody lays their eggs over here. Now we got one over there. Okay. All right, so for some stupid reason, I decided to give the goats extra hay and I got Oh my god, I'm kind of a mess. I am covered in hay now. Well, that was smart. So, <laughs> alright, all the animals are taken care of. I'm going back in the house now. Alright, y'all, for dinner tonight, we are making some cheesy beef burritos. Really simple. So I just got a pound of ground beef. You're just going to use some chili powder, some black beans, some salsa, whatever you have. This is just what I happen to have is some paste chunky salsa chunky is better but if you don't have chunky it's totally fine and then some shredded cheese um this recipe here y'all is really simple i'll link it down below this is like one of those great recipes like if, if you happen to not have taco seasoning this recipe you know doesn't use taco seasoning so you use the chili powder and the salsa in place of that and then you just kind of make it cheesy by adding your cheese and some beans in it, it really bulks up your meal and so that is what we're doing for dinner tonight <laughs> So now that I got our um, meat is cooked and I drained it, I'm gonna go ahead and add like about a half a can of black beans. And we're gonna do about a cup of the salsa. Actually, I'm probably gonna do the rest of that. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. And get that all mixed in. A little bit more in here. The recipe calls for about two teaspoons of chili powder, but I like chili powder. Megan and I like things a little spicy. We'll do about a tablespoon. I'll just do about a tablespoon. We'll call it good at that. Get that all mixed in there. Of course, you could also add more and more or less, depending on your taste buds. Megan and like I said, Megan and I like things a little bit spicier, so that's why I don't mind doing more. But if you don't like things as spicy, you could do maybe just 
maybe just one teaspoon if you don't if you don't like things too spicy. You want just a, a little bit of flavor flavor, but not a lot of spice. You could just do one te uh, teaspoon. All right, so now that I get that all mixed in there, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do about a cup of some shredded cheese. And we're just gonna keep mixing this until the cheese has melted through. And that's pretty much it, y'all. That is pretty much it. Once this melts through, and you have like this nice cheesy ground beef mixture, you can put it in a taco. We're gonna do some soft shell tacos tonight well like i said it's a cheesy beef burrito but of course it's just taco meat so i mean if you wanted to do nachos if you wanted to do hard tacos soft tacos whatever you feel even if you wanted to do a taco bowl because i usually do taco bowls too so <clears throat> whatever you're feeling and this see as as i'm talking here this takes like no time at all and the cheese melts really easy so and just like that dinner is done so then over here i just I, I ran out of the shredded lettuce i usually like to buy a bag of shredded lettuce but i ran out but i had a head of lettuce so i just shredded that up really good um, i got some chopped cilantro here i got some extra cheese to top that off with i don't know if megan wants the bigger tortillas or the smaller ones but i put both out just in case i'm gonna go ahead and cut up an avocado i like to have jalapenos on mine and that lettuce I'll just put away. Uh, the only thing I don't have here is tomatoes. I'm all out of tomatoes, but anyway, we're gonna dish up for dinner, y'all. In true fashion, I always tend to fill my burritos up way too big, and I probably won't be able to close this up, but anyway, so I just have my meat mixture, some, um, the sour cream cheese. I got some pico, I forgot, I almost forgot to put out the pico, Megan reminded me. Some jalapenos, cilantro, avocado, and yeah, I ended up using some of our um, Taco Bell packets that we just keep storing in the refrigerator. So I just put some of that on there and that is what is for dinner tonight. That is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, share with somebody you love, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.